So take a look at this. This is a massive list of leads. These are cold leads. And now I want you to take a look at this. This is the Profit Positioning Agency. Uh, and as you can see, there is no opt-ins. When you click on any of these buttons, it will not allow you to opt in. And I'm gonna explain exactly why. So when you guys build your agency sites, you get a lot of trash leads. As I showed you before, I showed you a list of cold leads. Those can be the trash leads. But when I'm dealing with a potential so-called client or partner, I want them fully focused and sure that they actually want to work with me. Plus, it's easier to sell somebody something that you already sold something else to before. I have people that's bought all of my stuff since the year of 2015 when I first got in the game. So when a person goes to my agency site, uh, they don't see anywhere to opt in to get a quote or something. There's a number there just for trust and all of that extra stuff. But if they call that number, it's just gonna send them back to the site or to some booking calendar or somewhere they can buy. I only want people coming through my agency that are familiar with me, that trust me, that know that I'm going to be able to help them and get them good results. All right, so your lead list that you're scraping, guys, the leads that you're scraping, like from Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, uh, your Facebook ads and all of that, keep that stuff separate from your agency. Why? You can pre-qualify them on the outside and everything like that. But the people that I actually deal with and work with that come through my agency are customers already, or if you want to call them clients already, all right? So it, it's kind of like backing a squirrel up into a corner. They're either going to like attack or like, you know what I'm saying, try to like escape or, you know, like fall out and die. That's how it is on my agency site. I don't leave room for a person to be a freaking tire kicker with me. I don't want you to be a tire kicker. I don't want you to be skeptical. I don't want you to second guess or none of that stuff. We're not going to get on the phone. We're not going to do any sales call, sales meeting, any of that type of stuff. Ooh, can you show me proof or whatever? All of that stuff for them to make a decision is on the actual page. So when you look at my agency site, that's why I tell you guys to go to the agency site and to study my offers and study how it looks. Not because it's pretty. The page is actually ugly but it is structured like an affiliate offer wall. It just has my offers on there. You either want it or you don't. But through all of the prospecting, throughout, uh, through all of the um, you know, inbound lead generation methods and through all of the uh, indoctrination and them watching my content and the value that I give in the prospecting sequences and, and all of that stuff, that is where they get to know me and warm up and all of that. I'm not about to get on a call with them, show them the processes and all of that stuff and send them some type of freaking um, <laughs> proposal just for them to be like, ah, you know, let me talk to my partner about it. Let me talk to my wife about it. Let me move some things around on my budget and all of that extra bull. No, ProfitPositioningAgency.com is about serious people that want serious results, that want to change and scale their businesses and change their lives and let, you know what I'm saying, have like out of the ordinary freaking results. So that's why I don't have an opt-in. I don't care if we only get five freaking so-called clients a freaking month, guys. I'm not going to leave a way for you to join some email list just to never open the freaking emails <laughs> or just to never answer when we put some offer out or something like that. The people that get my offers have already accepted offers before. I want you all to start thinking like that. So your little list, your cold list that you have right now, I mean, that's cool, whatever. You can send them to some type of landing page or opt-in form for something else or whatever. But on my agency site, like, like you got to know me through my content. That's why I create the content for indoctrination purposes. All right, through, for trust, for, for value, for p positioning and for authority. That's why I put that content out there for free. There's no need for us to get on the phone. 
you don't like me enough yet, then go back out and research me some more. Go and look at the rankings. Go and look at what we do. Go and watch testimonials till you blue in the face if that's what helps you. Even though I tell you to stop watching testimonials and become one. All right. Like just being real. So you go to the profit position and agency site, guys. You'll see a book on there for one hundred and ninety seven dollars. Why? Why is it one hundred and ninety seven dollars? Because it is the book version of the two hundred thousand dollar offer that's on there. And I know the majority of you watching this right now can't afford two hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollars. But it has the same value, the same principles, the same structuring inside that book that shows you why I have that 200K offer on there. If your agency does not have a $100,000 plus offer on your site anywhere, you need to create one because that can catapult you ahead with the freedom. Even if you got one person to purchase that per year that is like way better than these little thousand dollar five hundred uh even five thousand dollar offers that most of you guys are are pushing i want you guys to achieve ultimate freedom so you can have some low ticket offers that's cool and everything but you definitely want to leave the option for somebody that actually has the budget to come to your site to be able to get something that's valuable enough that it can benefit them greatly but also catapult you ahead like super far uh as far as financially okay so that's why i don't have an opt-in why would i have an opt-in on my agency site i'm not trying to build a list of people that's not sure i'm not trying to warm them up i'm not trying to convince them that's something else like it's not a course it's not a um you know i'm i'm, I'm not trying to like convince them on my agency site as you can see it has some videos on there breaking down how we do what we do and then it also has some videos on there with testimonials i have a whole playlist of testimonials on the agency site and then i have some like formulaic type videos as you know giving out the principles and and all of the genius behind what we do if you can't make up your mind to purchase something or work with us after seeing all of that is literally nothing else I can say on a call or through an email opt in form that will get you comfortable enough to actually want to work with me. I'm not in a business of convincing when you go on Walmart. Come on, guys, pay attention. I'm about to make a good point. I hope so. When you go in Walmart and I'm not trying to compare me or you to Walmart, I'm I'm showing you what they do but when you go to walmart do you have to get a consultation before you buy something off the shelf no you go in there because you know what you want already before you even walked in the store you already knew what you wanted when you go through the drive through at mcdonald's you see the offer wall or the menu and then you just order your freaking food do they have to come out to your car real quick and do a consultation with you about the buns and the, the, the burgers and the, the fries and the, the calories that's in there? When you go to the grocery store, when you go to the movies, do they have to do a sales call or a consultation with you? Do you have to opt in before you go to the movies? Or do they, you get in the car and you just drive your butt up there and you go enjoy yourself? When you go to the club, when you go buy your Jordans, do you sign into an opt-in form? No. Why? Because of branding purposes, because you understand the value. They position themselves well enough. So guess what? What should we be trying to do? What I'm trying to do this year is boost my brand enough, my brand authority enough, the trust and authority enough to where when a person come across my brand, they really, really want to work with me. No convincing, no opt ins, none of that. I want them to buy me off the freaking lot, buy me off the shelf shelf. All right. That's what I'm talking about.